Hey, this is Angela with this week's Living the Shift. The big question this week has to do with bombings and mass killings and all that kind of stuff because, you know, what happened earlier this week in Boston, the Boston Marathon, and the bombs went off and all that kind of stuff. So I get this question again and again, and it keeps on coming up, and it's very often that it's coming up because we seem to have it more and more prevalent in our realities. So, you know, many people will ask me, so what do you take about, you know, what's the take about this? What's the take about the, these bombings and all that kind of stuff? It's a really big lesson for us, and it's really important for us to look at it with a completely different set of eyes in this duality of love, hate, and all that kind of stuff. That's what we're working to resolve. We're working to resolve. You know, we have really, and it's really the epitome of what we have learned to do, how we have learned to externalize our power, how we have learned to separate so much via the, the ego managing things here at this level of, of consciousness. And we are coming to this point of resolution. I've talked about this a bazillion times, but we're at this point of resolution of that duality. And it sometimes feels like, you know, it's because, because of the fact that it's time. My understanding is that it's time to resolve it. We've done this lesson to death. We have done it awesome. We have gotten a triple plus on our report card because we did an awesome job at it. Of course, we're the ones who graded ourselves too, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, so as we get closer and closer to the resolution, all of the things that are really deeply embedded are starting to come up. So the first part of this is to look at this as mm, from the eyes of the divine, which is what we are. So if we step back and have a bigger perspective on things and have this acceptance and understanding of this, we create our reality individually and collectively. And everything we create is a reflection of what's inside because this is all an illusion that we create anyway as part of the lesson. So if that's the case, um, the first question to ask ourselves when something like this happens, instead of the ego just jumping right away to this hate thing, this resistance and separation and saying, get this person or get those people, them, it's them, 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 they, they, they. There is no them. In reality, you are me. They are me. All of the people, the people who initiated the, the situation as well as those who experienced it, they are all, all of them, part of me, part of you. And when we can look at that, we can say, okay, so what is within me to heal and within us as a collective to heal that is still reflecting out on people doing things like this to others? Well, you know what it points back to? is the, the fact that the only actual reality is unconditional love. That's what we are, my understanding. We are part of the oneness, the divinity, and the divinity is unconditional love, and that is the only and most massive power in the universe. So if we step back and look at it from the fact that the, beyond the limitations of duality, beyond the perception of judgment and right and wrong, and we just look at it from a lesson, from an, ex an, an experience, we say, well, what is it we need to heal that will prevent this from happening anymore? So, well, the biggest, one of the biggest parts of this has to do with the fact that we, it's time for us to accept all as a part of ourselves, accept all, no more they, no more them, no more us versus them and those people and those kind of people. Those kind of people are us in some way, shape or form. So an outpouring of love, an outpouring of gratitude. Number one, all souls have volunteered to do whatever part they do in this, in, in all of this. This is a play we've created to have all these lessons. So sending an outpouring of love not just to those who you know had the had things happen to them whether they died or got hurt or whatever but also the ones that initiate it and gratitude you know why because the gratitude is that we have now externalized the issue so we can look at it because we weren't looking at the mirror otherwise and that's why this happens in our reality is that we stop looking at something at, you know we we refuse to look at something inside of us and usually it's because of judgment duality and so because of the fact that we repress it, it then becomes externalized and creates itself in a physical situation in our realities. So what's the best way to remedy that? Not by hate. Hate feeds hate. Resistance feeds resistance. Fear 
breeds fear. You know, all of that fear and anger, resentment, even guilt and doubt, sorrow and pain, all that kind of stuff, that is resistant energy that's based from the perception of duality, from separation at the end of the day. And when we accept the fact that there is no real separation, that this is all an illusion and that we are all one, then we go back to that pure sense of unconditional love that pure sense of full acceptance and just looking at it from the perspective of what was the lesson. The lesson here is to wake up and smell the coffee, you know, wake up and start looking in the mirror. And it's becoming more prevalent because it's becoming more and more important for us to resolve this within ourselves. It's coming more up to the surface. Earth, Gaia, is rebirthing herself and we are being rebirthed with her. We are part of her organism just like our hearts and kidneys and, and lungs and all are a part of us. We are being rebirthed with Earth. And we have volunteered to be here during this amazing transitional time. There's a lot of stuff for us to resolve. And we're bringing all of this up in a really, really fast and furious kind of way. So, you know, we choose. That's why I always say, well, if we choose the graceful and easy, it's actually a whole lot easier, you know, versus the have to do the suffering. So here's the thing. How can we alleviate this? Because it's going to happen again and again and again and again and again. And it's going to become bigger and bigger and more and more intense until we look in the mirror. What is it within me that's creating this outside of me? What is it within us that's creating it with, you know, outside of us? And the more we realize that we are all one, that we are all love, that we are worthy of being loved because we are always love, we are always love, then that stuff starts to melt away energetically it just isn't it's just outside of that kind of reality so the key is and this is what I tell people all the time okay because every everybody wants to do something right oh what can I do to help I'm gonna send heal I'm gonna send love and all that kind of stuff and that's great but you know what this stuff happens around the world every day and we don't necessarily see it in our news here in the United States so why aren't you sending love to everyone? Because everyone is a part of you. Why are we, you know, like the, the key is for us to send healing and resolution and connect to all in some way, shape or form every single day. And I'll tell you what, if we all did that, if we took five to 10 minutes to consciously connect with the collective here, with earth, with, um, with all of each other, no matter what the, the vision of duality is, everyone, in love and healing and resolution and and you know resolving these lessons the faster the more graceful and easy and blissful it will be and so you know and and we've gotten into the habit and that's been part of this existence of, of putting on band-aids putting band-aids on everything instead of looking at the core that's part of this you know whole um, experience of energy work and energy healing and, and that's actually healing the non-physical which then heals and releases stuff that people are amazed and call it miraculous because in the medicine of just treating the symptoms you know of, of no this is just never going to go away well guess what when we say well it's gone that seems miraculous but in, essential, in, in, in essence that's just taking back our, our power right so our power is to connect in love our power is to heal ourselves, heal each other, send this resolution and healing and just dousing ourselves and earth and all of our brethren, not even just here on earth, but all over the universe in unity and saying, yay, yay, we did this. We did this in an awesome, awesome way. Now it's time for the next game, whatever that's going to be. And so the faster that we get to that, the less these things will happen, the more we will be able to experience the grace and ease and the fun part of it versus having to look at one um, one disaster, one catastrophe as we perceive it from the ego after another. You know, and that's why these souls that are all a part of these have all volunteered to be a part of them because they said, you know, because at the higher level, it's like, well, yep, at some point we're going to bring in this lesson. If this and this and this starts doesn't happen or whatever, then we're going to do this. And that's what happens. So we have to send also gratitude to those who are, are involved in this, including those who the ego wants to vilify. We, it's time for us to accept all in love. The darkness is a, an illusion as much as anything else. The, and, and 
it's just a part of the light it added depth to this experience the dark what we consider the darkness or evil or bad or whatever it has added depth and color and and just this really deep understanding of of who we are based on contrast and that was part of what the lesson was supposed to be so now it's time to resolve all that and say okay and I understand that I understand that you are a part of me even if I don't necessarily agree with what you're doing even if it appears to be this um, this terrible thing but the reality is they are a part of us you are a part of me all are a part of me as all are a part of you and the sooner that we can accept all in love the sooner that will heal and the sooner that we will just progress on to, in leaps and bounds into the next level it really is as simple as that it's just the fact that we've gotten into such the habit of doing it it's time for us you know that that we're just um, reprogramming ourselves to do it differently <laughs> and so on that you know, I'm going to leave you this week, but but the key is, yeah, send healing to others, but also send, send healing to the world. Send healing to all of us as one. Send healing in unity to all in the universe, to all of us who have pretended to be separate, and we have played this game, and we have completely completed these lessons completely. That was great. But it's everyone it's not just when an experience happens it's not just when an extreme event happens it is always and the more that becomes more preventative that becomes more of an easy easy and graceful way of doing things and the sooner we do that the faster we'll progress again so on that i'm going to leave you um and things to think about this week this is angela with this week's living the shift <laughs>